Good morning, friends. I'm gonna not talk loudly because Mr. Uncomfy is still sleeping. Also, I got my bangs trimmed and like I don't know how to style them. Today is Sunday. It's about 8 in the morning and Sunday is usually the day that I upload my YouTube videos. I'm a bad YouTuber. I usually edit the night before I upload or most of the time the morning of as well. I usually like to upload around 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. That's like my sweet spot. So we have plenty of time. We have four to five hours. So in those hours, I'm just gonna go into focus mode. You'd be surprised how much you can get done in just four hours of like intense focus time, like no distractions. So that's why I'm not that worried. Also at the end of the day, it's just a video if it comes out at 3 p.m 4 p.m it doesn't really matter what matters is that i'm proud of the thing that i'm putting out into the world i'm wearing the comfiest fit ever i have my coffee and i also have a sweet potato that i cooked yesterday ready in the fridge so i can just pop that into the microwave when i get hungry okay i'm gonna edit now i'll see you in a couple hours It is 2.38 and I finally uploaded my video. Here she is in all of her glory. Editing the video itself did take me a lot longer than I thought it would because it was a talking video. So I was trying to add like different graphics and images to make it a little more interesting. As you can see, my desk is a little bit of a mess. Whenever I edit, I usually have tons of sticky notes out with just like things I wanna add or things that I need to do. So Winnie actually literally just ate this piece of paper. I am gonna clean up and then we are gonna go get some lunch because it's already almost three o'clock. guys so i just got back from hot yoga it's basically doing yoga flows in a 95 to 100 degree fahrenheit room it's really warm it's really hot it gets your whole body sweating um and i love it so much i've been going pretty much daily and on the days i don't go to hot yoga i lift weights so i just feel so healthy and strong now and it's been really really helping with my anxiety and my mental health i'm gonna shower now and my friends are gonna come over in like 20 minutes and we're gonna have a cute little restorative art day and today is the solar eclipse which is so magical we didn't even plan that so I'm really excited to show you guys what that looks like all right so I just showered and I'm feeling much better now and before my friends come over like a good host I need to refill my hand soap and this is actually a perfect time to talk about the sponsor of this video which is blue land blue land creates everyday eco-friendly cleaning products to help you save money and space without any of the plastic waste and they do so with these cute little cleaning tablets that that come in reusable and refillable packaging. So everything from the bottles to the tablets to the wrappers to the shipping, there is no single-use plastic in any component. The products themselves are also made with clean ingredients, so they're people, pet, and planet-friendly. I truly believe that a cleaner planet starts at home, and I love how Blue Land has made this mission more attainable for everybody. Their hand soap refill tablets start at just $2.25, and their dishwasher, laundry, and toilet cleaner tablets are also affordable and effective. And I can attest to this, I literally 
literally use their dishwasher tablets every night, their laundry tablets every week for my clothes, and I love how I can depend on Blue Land to get rid of any nasty stains or smells with the peace of mind that I'm not just dumping plastic pods back into our water system. You can get even more in savings by buying their refills in bulk or setting up a subscription. Their subscriptions are customizable and convenient, so you never run out of your most used products. So if you want to try out Blue Land, you can get 15% off of your first purchase by clicking the link down below or by scanning this QR code. And thank you, Blue Land, for sponsoring this video. So, we just like trust the process, let it fold up, and then flatten it? Oh, just God. It? Yeah, just <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. It's so cute. No, oh no. Just keep going, just keep going. Just keep going, are you sure? Yes. That I can't seem to find When I go to reach it Just leaves my mind Waking with a note How could a poem hold It's Wednesday now, and I spent most of the morning just doing more sponsorship work, but now I'm pretty much free. Here are all the shrinky dinks that we made on Monday. I'm so proud and happy with them. I've never had the urge to make shrinky dinks before, but Allie just brought the paper over, and she also happened to have heat gun, and it was actually so fun. Because I have so much free time now, I really want to turn this one into a pop socket. It's a little portrait of my dog Winnie, and I think it would just fit so perfectly. We also drilled holes on all the small charms, so I want to turn them into keychains or phone charms, and I don't know, maybe I'll list them on my shop once it reopens as like a limited, uncomfy, shrinky dink collection. I don't know. Easy rider on the highway Station wagon going slow Windows open, you are basking In the bluegrass radio mm -hmm. It is easy now to see you With your hand out on the wind I keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget Fold it at the corner So that I could not forget I'm having a little snack break. We found these at H-Mart the other day and these are like my favorite snack of all time. It's a giant corn puff. I changed because I got really hot and I also made some mint green tea for myself. I think this will help with the headache that I'm having because it has like a little caffeine in it. I went through a whole phase of trying to wean off of caffeine and I kind of just gave up a little bit because like everyone has their own vices. You know, I go to yoga every day, I eat healthy ish you guys just saw me eat a corn puff so i can't lie i'm just a silly little girl that needs caffeine nowadays i have to do some editing more youtube work because even though my shop is closed now this is like the busiest month for me content creation wise so i think that worked out pretty well actually let me show you my planner spread just briefly so this was for march but each month i have all the things that i'm doing as well as all the days that i'm uploading youtube 
videos. And then this is what April looks like. I spent like an hour blocking everything out that I need to do. It's gonna be busy. So I'm trying to get a little ahead of the curve by doing some editing, even while I'm still filming a current video. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys when I see ya. friends it's super hot today so the jorts are back i feel better than ever today is the day that i'm dedicating to glazing all of my bisque wear it's actually so embarrassing i made these pieces back in november or december they've just been sitting on my shelf for about four or five months now and i just never got around to glazing them i've always been really focused on my polymer clay shop and getting my orders out but now that i officially shipped out all of my orders last week i have no excuse i'm fine I'm finally gonna glaze these. I think I'm just gonna start by sketching some doodles first. I have been really busy, but also I think another reason why I haven't glazed these is because I just wasn't sure how I wanted to glaze them. Like I'm very comfortable when it comes to making cute little figurines, but pottery is something that I still view myself as like a novice. And I do feel like I'm just not as good at it, but I know that I won't get good at it unless I try. So I'm really just forcing myself to go out of my comfort zone because making pottery has always been a dream of mine and all these feelings of nervousness really gives me a lot of empathy for people who haven't started their creative journeys yet but they really want to i just want to tell you that i'm there right now with you like i feel like i'm not good enough for this but we are just gonna try our best i feel like i've been mulling over this process for so long like i needed to plan out the perfect design for each mug but that really just delayed the process even more so now I'm just deciding to freehand everything. And if they turn out ugly, so be it. I drew a little mug on a mug. got distracted by Mr. Uncomfy. He's reclaiming clay right now, which is such a cool process that you get to recycle your clay. Anyway, I'm ready to start painting my ceramics. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided dandelions and shoes 